This is Pix, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 16, A Samurai from Samoyama. Alright, so, as we see that yokai, we're just gonna run past him. Revenant as well, we're gonna step on that trap to take out that Revenant. And then, right below, this, it's a big hole, so just uh, go to the right. And then you, we're going to see that lightning yokai right there. It's going to pass him. Hide right there. Just wait for him to, to you know, walk away. And then that's our opportunity. Uh, so as you see beyond, on that other side of the gate, there is another shrine. So in order to get there, we're going to smash those boxes. We're going to go through this hole right here. Just be careful. There is a trap right below it. All right. And then right beyond that, there is a yokai willing uh, dual sword as well. So we're getting ourselves prepared. Kai Kai, Carnage, Lightning, and then Sloth and Weakness. The safest strategy, since we're at a narrow space right here, just do one light combo, then step back, wait for him to attack, and then repeat. Now that he's taken care of, we're just gonna go right over here, go to the left, go to our right. We're gonna open this gate. If you hear any, hear any uh, rumbling, uh, my apologies. Uh, it's just my stomach's very hungry, but it's fine. I'm just gonna do this recording. Uh, all right, and we just uh, activated this shrine for a checkpoint. go down the stairs and we're gonna use our hand cannon to take out this remnant right there um, just don't go towards him or collect any of the items there because there's a trap door beyond it uh, then we're gonna use our hand cannon to shoot uh, the revenant carrying uh, the barrel uh, in which we're gonna try to take out the canister the, the container that's able to summon uh, uh, a lot of floating yo uh, floating head yokais and uh, so I believe that match log did the trick uh, and then we're just gonna take out all these enemies right here and a uh, uh, good tip uh, don't fight these floating head yokais on the stairs because they technically have the advantage because they're they're floating so yeah it was just an annoyance just had to use my elixir so that I wouldn't be like getting uh, mosquito bites from these uh, floating head yokais but yeah uh, so there you go then uh, there is one more of these floating head yokais along with the uh, fire crystal yokai as you can see I use my cross slash to take them out in one hit because again the element is fire so just basically OD them with that same element and they will explode all right and we're gonna go through this door and then there is a lightning crystal yokai uh, this one's simple. Just use Sloth, Weakness, walk a little bit towards him, then use the Guardian Spirit Talisman. Just have the lion, the Lightning Lion uh, do the trick, and he'll explode. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's the last time we're going to be using him in this uh, mission. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go out. We're going to wave dash past all these enemies right here. Right, and then just be careful go to the right or go to the left actually because uh, there is a trap right below it and then we're just gonna run instead of wave dash because uh, beyond that giant one eye yokai there is a revenant carrying a hand cannon so just watch out and then we're gonna go up this uh, staircase uh, just be careful there is a boulder right there just hug the right side um, fortunately I got hit but luckily I did not die uh, because of the uh, boulder that took him out so I'll just use Elixir to recover, and then just fight this Revenant with the barrel on its back. Alright. And then we're just going to use our match lock to take out this container. And then there's another Lightning Crystal Yokai. Uh, so just cover... Uh, dual sword with lightning, cross slash, and he is down. 
All right, and then we're gonna go to our high stance and then use our water splash to take out the rest of these containers. Inside this room, there is a shrine. So in order to activate the shrine, we're gonna take out all of these containers, including the giant one eye yokai that just appeared. I was supposed to take this one out, but unfortunately this giant yokai, uh, yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a little fast without sloth and he does major damage. All right, so just, uh, gonna take out these uh, floating head yokais right here and then just risking myself going towards this container use water slash and then by a close call dodging his uh, that guy's attack uh, again like a couple of hits from him and I would have been dead and then we're just gonna repeat just taking out the remaining floating head yokais right here and then we're gonna fight this giant one eyed yokai so again, Sloth Weakness, prepare yourself with Kick Eye, Carnage, and again for Lightning just to be safe, go to High Stance, punish him with Water Slash, and repeat, uh, dodge his attack, and then just take him out. And there you go, uh, we're able to unlock the Shrine in this room. So before we use the shrine, we're actually gonna go out and unlock uh, this door. It's right here. And then beyond this room, there is a giant spider. So we're not gonna find him yet. We're just gonna hug the left side of the wall and open this gate. Just gonna use the shrine as a checkpoint and to recover our omeo. Alright, and then we're gonna switch to dual sword and then just get prepared, kick high, carnage, and then lightning. And then as soon as the giant spider appears, sloth and weakness, dodge the attacks and attack him. Got, I'm fortunate I got greedy right there. Um, I don't know why I, I use elixir. Uh, I would have just gone back to the shrine and then just recover my health along with my omeo magic. So, whatever. But anyway, uh, beyond that, we're going to be finding the boss named Obsidian Samurai. Uh, he uses a guardian spirit as well called the Atlas Bear. And we are going to be using that spirit later on in the game. But yeah, right now we're just going to use the matchlock to take out the last uh, containing, uh, container. And then we're going to quickly open this door because there is a hot wheel yokai and a water crystal yokai right there. Uh, a couple of enemies right there. And then once we go down, uh, the enemies won't be following us any longer. Give us the opportunity to use our uh, dual sword, high stance, then prepare by using kekai, carnage, and cover our dual sword with water. As soon as the battle starts, use sloth. Weakness, dodge his attack, uh, do three hits on high stance right attack, then he's going to summon his living weapon, and then punish him with water slash. And with enough, he should be dead. And if you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Obsidian Samurai. Alright, so, uh, for those who have been watching, the usual, just go to the inventory, check your weapons and armor, and if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. I forgot to show where you get the Atlas Bear Spirit, but uh, but yeah, you get the Atlas Bear Spirit, then you can go to Blacksmith, just, you know, the usual, replenish your ammo, buy some weapons and armor if you need to use yes, for sir. disassemble and reforge, or soul merge. Alright, then we're gonna go to the Shrine, go to Offering, sell any remaining weapons and armor uh, for more Amarita and Elixir. And if on your inventory, if you have any spirit stones, use them just to gain more Amarita. And then we're going to go to level up. And then we are going to raise our heart by one and magic by four. All right, and then we're going to go to the skill set, go to our dual sword. And then we're just going to unlock uh, God of Wind level two and three. And then we are also going to be unlocking Flux, level 1 and 2. All 
All right, and then we're going to go to our Kusurigama. And we are going to unlock Armor Piercer. But in order to unlock that, we would have to unlock Foot Sweep. But we don't have to equip it. And then we get to Armor Piercer. All right, then we go to our Omeo. And we are actually going to be unlocking uh, Shots of Fire, Water, Lightning, and Earth. Uh, all of them to level 3. So as you can see, I did fire to fire shot to level 3, water shot to level 3. And then uh, we're going to eventually go to uh, lightning shot level 3. And then to earth shot. But I only had enough to get to level 2. Uh, but don't worry, that's not actually uh, a big thing to worry about. We will getting get to level three Earth Fire Shot later on, but yeah. Uh, now we're gonna go to Ready Jutsu. I unequipped all of it, all of the Omeo Magic, in order to let you know what we need to equip. So we're gonna equip all the Fire, Water, Lightning, and Earth Shots, and then we're going to equip. Uh, I don't show it right now, but I show it later on. Uh, the Water Talisman. Earth Talisman, as well as the level 2 and level 3 of both Sloth and Weakness, and then as well as Carnage. You won't be needing much of Kakai in the, the mission that we're going to, but yeah. Um, after that, we're going to be equipping all the shots on the second shortcut, and then on the first one, we're going to be putting Sloth, Weakness, and Carnage, along with Elixir. Alright, and then I'm just going to go into my uh, uh, equipment, just like you guys know what weapons and armors I have. And then on the next video, the mission that we're going to is the Demon King Reveal. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas in Samurai from Samoyama. Uh, again, this is on New Game Plus, and I have defeated all the enemies in order to find the Kodamas easier. So. Uh, usual, we're just gonna go. We're gonna start the game going down here. Uh, is where the trap is, but we're gonna go up the stairs. Go through there, go to the left, go down the stairs, and then around the corner there's an enemy, and then you'll find the first cooldown. Alright, for the second one, it's gonna be going down here. go through here and if you remember where to go to get the second shrine I'm gonna go through this path and instead of going to that dual sword yokai we're gonna go to the right make sure you use the match lock to shoot through those barrels to open the hole there and then inside you'll find the next cooldown all right next one go back down go back out go down these stairs you don't have to worry about the giant hole that you go through. You can also go through the door. And then we're going to go inside the cave. And then as soon as we go out, go to the right. And then right here is where you'll find the next one. Alright, so for this next one, I forgot to show. Um, in order to get the, uh, not the Kodama that we're going to be finding now. Uh, basically, you have to fight this uh, giant, the giant one at Yokai, the one that is next to the Revenant with the cannon. Uh, he has a key in order for you to uh, to unlock the door in order to get the Kodama. But yeah, um, if you have seen the video right there, this is where you'll find the, the next Kodama that you go. Alright, and then um, 
yeah, this cave is a little confusing at first, so just be wary. So in order to retrace your steps, just look at the torches, and then you'll know where you'll be going. I'm going to jump down here. Apologies if I haven't mentioned about that uh, previous Kodama, but uh, just giving you an explanation of what to do uh, when finding these Kodamas in this mission. So yeah, go to the right, go to another right, and if you see that corpse, uh, right across from that is where you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, so for the next one, again, just follow the torches. Actually, I think this is the Kodama that you would need the key for. Yeah. So just go up these stairs. Go to the right. Oh, no, sorry. Go to the left. And then unlock this door, which you needed the key from the giant one eye yokai. There are two yokais inside of that. Watch out. That's where you'll find the next yoke, uh, Kodama. Alright, so we're just going to go right where that cave was. Uh, just go through there. And that, where that uh, giant one-eyed yokai is, just go inside here, go up, go to your left, that's where you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, next one, just jump down here, and then we're going to go up, and then uh, remember the enemies and the giant boulder, just basically hug the right side of the wall, uh, the right side of the wall, and then... Just uh, open this hole right here, go to the left, jump down here, go down the staircase. And then we're going to get out of the snake's mouth, go to the right, and then on your right you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, finding the final Kodama, we're going to run all the way up. here and then we're gonna go inside to uh, these two doors uh, pretty much where you find fight the hot wheel yokai and the water crystal yokai behind the bag you'll find the final kodama and congratulations you have found all the kodamas so just go to the nearest shrine uh, go to the blessing which is on the left side of the shrine menu look at how many kodamas you have within each blessing and i hope this video has helped you out